Taco Bell is known for its fair share of controversy between their questionable meat ruining people's weddings and their widespread rumor that eating Taco Bell causes diarrhea. I think we're forgetting the bigger issue here. We still eat it. And with the immense amount of research I've spent on this topic, I can confidently say Taco Bell's meat is 100% real ground beef. Hear me out. This goopy thing you see here, it has like a snot consistency. It looks like a burger. That's what I'm talking about. That's not Taco Bell's meat. That's taco meat filling. Aha, ha 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 ha. Taco meat filling is made with 88% meat that is made with 100% real ground beef. Absolutely genius. That's like saying I'm 100% honest 88% of the time. So what exactly is Taco Bell meat filling? Well, I'm pretty sure it's this, and this, and this. But what does any of this mean? Well, I'm glad you asked me, little Timmy. Melted dextrin is used to enhance texture. Oh, it's really soft. But what does any of this mean? It's a preservative. Subscribe for me, sniffing powder. <laughs> Trahalos, from the Turkish word trahala. Oh yeah. Is a sugar derived from insect cocoons. Whoa. But what does any of this mean? It's another preservative. It's preserving. Modified cornstarch acts as a sponge to absorb any liquid when the mixture cools down. It's a gel. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a preservative. Soy has recently been replaced with oat fiber for allergy concerns. It's very dry. Have you ever eaten, um, what's it called, um, wood shavings? It's a preservative. Some people are constipated. Then Taco Bell is there to help. <laughs> Thank you, oat fiber. Sodium phosphate lowers the acidity measures in pH. <laughs> Burn with the hole in my tongue. <laughs> it tastes like pee. Oh! It's a preservation. Uh, a tip. Cocoa powder and caramel color are used to make the meat filling look more like meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a preservative. No, it's food coloring. Possibly my favorite ingredient of all, tarula yeast. It's most commonly used in flavoring dog food. Dude, the, the, you know, that smells like a pet store. Sniff it. Ew, you like Taco Bell? Yeah. That's like eating dog food. Yeah. The final 2% of our recipe is actually the seasoning, which is probably the only thing we recognize, which is a combination of dried onion, dried garlic, ground cumin, paprika, chili powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and MSG. So to get that texture we want, we actually threw all of the meat into a stand mixer with a dough hook and just combined all the seasonings together. That's it, that's the meat. Ew. So we're adding water, I'm adding the food dye so that the meat looks cooked. And then we're gonna pressure fry it. Let's cook it. This is Taco Bell's meat. We just got back from the drive-thru and we asked for a bowl of meat. They comply. Is it possible to get a bowl of like meat? Okay, any sauce? And then our third and final test is going to be the seasoning packet at Walmart. This is our homemade Taco Bell meat. This one's got a ton of flavor. You kind of get that texture from this one as well. I think that once we let it sit, it's going to taste even more. This is the packet. That tastes like Ortega. Right? It kind of just gives you like the same There's Mexican no seasoned flavor. The taco seasoning spice company is just like a white label company and Taco Bell slapped their label on it. Y you could grab anyone off the shelf. It's going to be the same experience. Guys, if you get the Taco Bell seasoning packet and not your local brand, you're getting ripped off. And last is Taco Bell meat. It's looking like dog food. Is it good? <laughs> it's not about if it's good or not. It's about if it tastes the same. Taco Bell has a little like extra spicy tang on there that I think we really did achieve with our homemade version. And these have been sitting and cooling and congealing and doing their thing. Oh my God, that is so spot on. I feel like I'm eating the cat food that is at Taco Bell. I'm sorry, that's mean to say cat food. The dog food. The big difference with our recipe, because we're not cutting costs, ours is 100% meat, whereas Taco Bell's is 100% beef. Meat is this, beef could be all of this. Look at that. You can't tell me that it doesn't look like Taco Bell. That looks like Taco Bell. Seal it up and then slap our Taco Bell distribution label on it to make it super legit. There you have it, folks. 
Taco Bell meat ready to eat. We also have little baggies to sell on the black market. <laughs> this is the personal one-time use <laughs> little taco. <laughs> now that we have this bag, we can just toss it in the freezer and we can have a pillowcase of Taco Bell meat whenever we want. So we've had this Taco Bell meat frozen for about six months now. So we've been waiting for a very special day, a day where we're gonna have people come by and try this out. And we feel like today, like any day, is the best day to eat, to try, to taste test some six month old frozen Taco Bell meat. All right, Julia, it's been 12 months. It's been forever. Don't look at all that stuff. <laughs> we got it. Here it is. Still, just like if we worked at the Taco Bell factory. We grabbed it out, it is. blew off the dust, <gasps> and we tossed it into a sous vide bath to rehydrate and cook our meat and bring it back to life. What are the ingredients? Silicon dioxide, anti-aging cream, natural dolphin fins, yeast, modifying cornstarch. Ew. Spot on. It's just like Taco Bell. I gotta make a taco now. Is this what they do at Taco Bell? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's oh, oh. Oh. oh, that is so Taco Bell. -y. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some Taco Bell. So good. Does it taste like Taco Bell? Exactly like Taco Bell. Do you guys get this from Taco Bell? I like my meat like I like my men. Ready to destroy these guts. I would have never known that I wasn't at Taco Bell. Except for all of this. Yeah, it's, a, it's not. It's not exactly the same. 